one player are playing against him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, another interesting thing is that when RJ was doing the seeding, he said that Salted Bread won last time these two played. Really? Um, yeah, so that's why he seeded Salted above above himself. Okay. Um, so maybe, so this is going to be like, they always have a back and forth. It's kind of up in the air who's going to win between these two. So it's close. Yeah. Um, so we'll see who takes the cake this time. And, and uh, well, we, based well, off of that game, I think we can assume at Xeno 10, the seeding between these two is going to be based on who wins today. I wouldn't be so, surprised. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know if anyone's doing some, some mental math there. If somebody's going to purposely try and lose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. City. You know, <laughs> the, we call that multi-tournament conditioning, right? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Only the most fair tactics we use at of course. these tournaments. Yeah. No scuff at all. Purposely playing one way in a previous set to condition over multiple tournaments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, these these players getting into it, just uh, getting their footing in this set so far. Um, RJ has a ton of clean garbage right here with salted only messy, so yeah, salted wow. needs to find like a downside. Oh my god! I don't here. know if he, I doubt it. I think this is Dunzo's. I don't know uh, if he says that, but yeah. Nah, he's... He might... No, he sacked his eyepiece at the top of the hole. I think it's over. Yeah. I mean, RJ was struggling for a little bit to, to set up like a, kill, like a final blow. Mm -hmm. um, I think Salted had an opportunity there to... Plan, I'm sure he did, but he clearly looked like he was just oh, like, what am position. I doing? One, one that many would give up in. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't say he gave up, but he was he just did like, not. huh? And would, that one second, not RJ was able to take advantage of that one second and, you know, do his thing. Right. Salted's garbage is fairly clean right now, but he is up stacking a lot, so I don't know how that's going to go for him. Interesting, right, interesting. He's out. He's got yeah, I think that might actually... Got another eyepiece right here, too. Yeah. He, I think he should have sent that, because... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, RJ almost got to his eyepiece there. He would have been able to cancel that if he... If, if, if Salted waited any longer. Yeah, RJ kind of looked like he knew what was happening, and he was just like, I don't have a lot of options in this situation. Oh, well. Yeah. yeah. No, like, like when you have, like, a like a big spike, like a Tetris T-spin coming up, and you have Tetris garbage right there, too, and another eyepiece, you want to send that third attack. People don't have the muscle memory to, like, to, to prepare. Or they don't really... They don't really set up enough um, cancelable attacks for three attacks. Like, it's usually two, because it's usually Tetris T-Spin, or Tetris Tetris, or T-Spin T-Spin. It's, yeah. it's never really, like, three. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, but but, but Salted, uh, when he took that Tetris, it was, um, definitely sealed the deal there. Oh, yeah. Look at this, he's got it again. Tetris T-Spin Tetris. Yep. And then that's it. Nobody has... Oh! No, I okay. think RJ has a okay. chance here. He's he's thinking. The, the gears in his head are turning. But Salted's keeping the pressure up. He's got another T-Spin here. Oh, he couldn't get the other one. Salted is planning, whereas RJ is just trying to get out of this situation at the moment. That's the vibe I'm getting from yeah. both these players. The Salted with a little... Okay, that's a nice donation. Salted looks fairly confident, and RJ is more so like just trying to stay focused, rather. Yeah, Oof, not a good situation to be in, but he got the T-Spin single at least. Oh, that's not a TP. Wow. That's a tie game, tie game. Yeah, yeah. I think the the first two games where RJ won, Salted really like had bad misdrops. Yeah. I mean, RJ played well. He got clean garbage, and and it was good for him. But um, just that game, that last game, Salted kept on the pressure consistently, and it really like made him shine. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this ends up being a very close game, which means we're gonna be here for a while, folks. <laughs> to get used to our voices. Yeah, I feel like Salted Red is is very focused right now. Nice. He's got some garbage. Oh, oh wait. no. He needs his okay. JPs. He's got wow. it. Wow. Tetris. Walking on thin ice right there, Salted. But he's fairly confident. So. No IP's coming up. Some misdrops. Unfortunate. Yeah. Let's see if RJ can capitalize. Ooh, interesting spin. spin. Not an immediate attack right here for RJ. But he just hit the Tetris and Ooh. he's able to take that one. Counting to four. Yeah. 
very Damn. efficiently. He only had like a couple minos of blocks left over after the Tetris. Looking like a strong contender. Yeah. Oh. It's interesting. RJ is very like... Nice follow-up, Seltzer. His, his play fair, has been fairly consistent throughout like, his game with you and these games with Salted Bread right now. I feel like Salted Bread is basing his game play off of what RJ is sending him a lot. Yep, it's all about being prepared for, for what comes at you. Yeah. Salted was talking all about like timing earlier, finding the right moments to send certain attacks. And I found that to be super interesting because I'm just like, it's an aspect of this game that I never thought about, at least. I, I, I know you, when you see these guys play, you don't notice that they're waiting for the right times to attack. Right, yeah. I wonder if Salt is mad that I changed his uh, the voices to <laughs> Japanese. Oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> Without a doubt in my mind. I'm not sick of them yet. <laughs> getting pretty close to getting sick of them, but we're only at the beginning of the tournament. I think, oh, wow. I think also Devin's used to us forcing Japanese voices on him. Yeah. <laughs> it is. As long as the... What's Har the Harvey. one that, like, she doesn't... Isn't it the one that you play, the one that sings? No, I don't play... I don't play Harpy. I think it's Harpy, right? The one that goes, Do, Re, Mi. That one? I, I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah. The one that's like, Should I sing? And I'm like, oh. I'm like, please... Oh, no, it, it's Salted's character that does that. I think so. Yeah. I hate that character in English. <laughs> don't okay, tell so him, because then he'll better, play nice. it more. I mean, we're in Japanese, so it's like less abrasive. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Man, Salted is like that, just that close to getting. Oh, he's gonna the, the There we go. But he's gonna IP. There it is. He needs another one. Oh, he's, okay, he's but he's set up for a T spin. Bit. Yeah, that's, that's smart. This is exactly oh, what he was telling RJ, me about no. earlier. Get to his eyepiece. I think you do it. Yeah. Uh, a lot of his down stacking is very is very focused on making uh, Tetrises and throwing in a T spin every once in a while. Did so Salsa just punch the wall? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh. No salvo. What happened, Salsa? He puts the salty in salty gamer. That is true. The salted uh, head banging to the triple that he just did. Yeah. <laughs> also, remember, with the if he Mario turns, Kart DI. Yeah, if he turns his controller, then it'll it'll make him go faster. It's Tokyo Drift up in here. You notice that he has a well. Like, he has a very good plan in his. The faster he's going, you know that he has planned ahead. Does that make sense? Because that means he's executing the attack that he thought of like five pieces ago. Right, or right, something right. like that. Uh, so when you see it, when you pay attention to his speed, you'll notice that's when he has a plan. Right. I think for some some people that's definitely true. I I think it's, it's different for some people as well. I think um I think speed is like an indication of just relying on intuition. Yeah. Um and then slowing well well I guess I don't know. Can you have a plan and also use your intuition at the same time? Is that, I feel is that like a thing? You, you can, but like that requires a lot of brain power that I just <laughs> don't have. That requires neurons, and my brain doesn't have a lot of them. You and me both. Yeah. I feel like Salted <laughs> is just the type of guy who is like very, um, I don't know if over analytical is the right way to put it, but like he's just a very analytical person. Like. So like when he's doing something well, he's a lab know, monster. He is a lab monster. He really likes to figure out the minute details to see why something works. So if he's doing something, there's always a reason behind it. Most players, when you see them go fast, that's just because they want to be cool and go fast. Mm. Salted is just like, no, I'm going fast because I know what I'm doing. That he does. Ah, oh, what kind of downstack is this? 
Oh no, oh is that a, that a mishap from Arjun? Oh no! Well, it's fixable. Same thing for Dolphin Red too. Oh, he, okay, nice. Yeah, he, he got go. the nice L piece. He found a way. Kept the T-spin. Oh my god. Uh, I felt like that was they're keeping, so unfair. They're keeping it close, close, close this entire set. Oh it yeah. Was, it was 2-0, then 2-2, and then 3-2, 3-3, 4-3, 4 now it's 5-5. These guys will never it's give like, each other a break. Like actual rivals, to be honest. Salted Bread mostly plays against Dre, but I feel like RJ is like his... They're the rivals. It, yeah, it's his Vegeta. I, I think uh, personality-wise, I would think that RJ would be more um, Goku and uh, Salted would be Vegeta. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> but I'm saying Salted thinks that he's Goku. Oh, of and course. He's, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And in, in, his, in his mind, RJ is Vegeta. Of course. He's of like, course. I'm never the bad guy. What's the problem? What's the, what's the problem? Yeah. <laughs> See, this is him realizing that he's Vegeta now. He's like, I don't care about what you guys say. Fuck everybody. <laughs> Do you know the name of that setup that Salta just did? I don't. Like, I was paying attention to RJ setup. Okay. It, it was it was one of the um, the triple double setups that mm -hmm. um, one of the newer ones. I forget what that one's called though. Yeah, you've been keeping an eye on the newer setups lately. They're pretty interesting. Not I really. I know everybody's <laughs> been doing MS2. MS2, yeah, that, that's big right now. I thought that I was think, interesting. I um, think what Salted was doing is like, it's not it, it's not MS2, but it's like one of the ones in the same realm as that. Mm. I think the... If RJ wasn't so high up on his board, he would have like set up a very nasty attack, by the way. That was yes. cool. But he was at the top of his, of his board, so he lost. I feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like Salted Bread is a very reactionary type of player. He sees what his opponent is doing, and then he decides what he wants to do. Oh, I, I don't know if he's like that all the time, but I feel like that's a thing for him. Yeah. I think so. I wish we could watch his eyes to see when he looks over. Oh man, like the Twitch eye tracking thing. That would be. I've always wanted to see Tetris players do that, but I don't know any like Tetris streamers that like have that feature. I think Wumbo. I think Wumbo. Okay. Yeah, I think Wumbo has that. I gotta check in on Wumbo's stream then. He definitely had it for a bit, and I don't know if he still sets it up. Hmm. But what what do you need for that? Um, there's like a an eye tracking device. I forget what it's called. Okay. Um, but it's like a USB device. You hook it up. It detects your eyes and follows your movements. And then what are you doing, bro? And there's two. <laughs> are you paying attention to your opponent? Happened. I literally just talked about how you always pay attention to your opponent. You're making <laughs> me look like a liar, salted bread. Oh my god. Yeah, but for the eye tracking, I think there's like two ways to like get it to display on like a Twitch stream. Either the streamer can overlay it themselves, or there's like a Twitch extension that you could install. Okay. That like overlays it, and then the the you, the viewer can customize the look of it. I feel like that would be a super interesting thing for Tetris. Yeah. Yeah. Is he gonna it's like, what are you looking at that makes you decide what you decide to do? Yeah, yeah, because I've heard about players mostly looking at the next two. Yeah. And I'm just like, how? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there are certain things that I think, like, like people, when people do controller displays, I don't think that adds anything to it to a to a viewing experience. Like you mean like uh, the the little like like, like a keep like a like a keyboard yeah I know what you're thing about. and like you could like I, see what it, keys are being pressed. Yeah. I think input display is only useful for speed running for miss inputs. Oh, for miss inputs. Yeah, like speed I running. Yeah, that. but I mean like in a competitive sense, I think it's only for miss inputs. It's okay. Like, you know, it's like, it's like, like, what did they actually press there? Yeah, because yeah. like, if because usually a miss input's probably like an accidental plink, right? Right. Where it's just like, oh, you you fat fingered, you hit two buttons at the same time. Yeah. So it's yeah. just like, what did you aim for? Stuff like that. Yeah. It's like, what, what were you trying to do? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, that that definitely makes sense. I didn't think about that. Does Tetris have a buffer system? Um, I don't think, I don't think anybody's gone that deep into 
like, into knowing if yeah, there is. Into knowing. Uh, okay. But I don't think so. Uh, it, it, oh wait, explain. What oh, is the buffer system? system? No, there's no buffer system here. No. Okay. Um, so there's, there's only there's a couple different buffered inputs. It's uh, IRS and IHS. That's the initial hold system and the initial rotate system. Uh -huh. So in some games, if you if while the um, delay of a piece being placed is happening or like a line clear, if you're holding rotate or the hold, it will buffer that input. But in terms of like. Um, yeah, so, so there is buffer for, for that. But this game doesn't have any IRS or IHS. Okay, so this is all just frame perfect. This is all frame perfect. Okay. Yes. Uh, for, for those uh, who don't know uh, what a buffer is, traditionally, like at least in, for fighting games, uh, take Smash, for example, which has a nice, easy number to work with, has a, a buffer of 10 frames, meaning you can input something within 10 frames of being locked out, and yeah. it will come out as soon as uh, possible. Oh. Yep. Okay. But you have to be holding it when the lockout period... No, you just have to press it. You don't have to be holding it. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. You're talking about hold buffer. Uh, buffer in the traditional sense is just like, you know, let's say you're locked out for... For nine frames or whatever, and you press it Ooh, ten RJ, frames you got ago, fucked. it'll it'll carry over. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. but he fixed it though. Yeah, fix it with the LP. Oh, so that's I the only way that. to fix that there. But it, look, it looks so cool. But this is match point for RJ. Yeah, I know, right? Crazy. But oh, it's a pretty close salted. match though. Oh, he he triple rotates, but it, luckily that that miss drop is good. Like when you when you I spin feel like it in there, you don't rotate. Yeah, he can. That's yeah. why I'm saying that. Oh my god! Look good. at that, bro. This this just I I think dip. that miss drop saved Salted Bread because he had no TPs in his queue. Wow. So the plot armor. Yeah, but that's the plot the armor. Plot armor. When the TO armor. When your back is against the wall, the story <laughs> elements start coming in. <laughs> yeah. Part of the Literally. cards. As Egu says, Salted is getting weird with the wall. He's yeah. back, he is against the wall, he's literally punching the wall. <laughs> His glasses are doing the anime glow thing right now. The anime yeah. glow thing. Eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> now he will try. The, the the girl on his shirt is falling in love with him. It's yeah. swooning. <laughs> yep. But is it enough? I, is it enough? I don't know if RJ cares about plot armor. I mean, RJ is looking a little messy right now. He's still got five more lines to pay before he reaches his garbage. Two more. Yeah, Salton oh. is not really attacking right now. He's kind of just trying to get out of this situation. RJ is putting on a lot of pressure. Yep. This is a bit of a spaghetti, spaghetti round. Yeah, uh, RJ almost had 10k points. Got a nice oh. piece of triple here. Oh, Ooh. Salted had the Tetris. He just didn't. GG's. Ooh. That was a great set. That, that was really interesting to watch. You got to like learn a lot about both players. Yep, and we'll see how the story unfolds in yeah, later sets today. We most certainly will. Yep. Oh, now yeah. that we finished our uh, round two of winners, looks like we can get started on the losers. So oh, yeah. Yes. Losers bracket. That's where I'll be. That's my home forever <laughs> and always. Let's get it. Yep, so it looks like 